mystery. It's all around us, including in our church. Let's find out how. The Armenian church has seven sacraments. We know these seven sacraments, baptism, confirmation, penance, holy communion, and holy matrimony, holy orders, and of course, extreme anointing. Now these seven sacraments in the Armenian church are referred to as Chorurt. Chorurt, a big word that means mystery. It literally means mystery. All traditional churches, for instance, the Roman Catholic and the Orthodox traditions, they all have seven sacraments. But when in the Armenian church we refer to it as Chorurt, we understand something very deep. In fact, every Sunday morning, when you walk into an Armenian church, the first hymn of the Armenian church, of the Holy Divine Liturgy, is By making it the first hymn of the Armenian church service, our church fathers are telling us that we have to be in a unique state of mind to accept and to appreciate that mystery. Now let's think about this for a moment. Does this mean that we don't understand? No. A lot of times people think that to be religious means you need to check your brain in at the door before you walk into church. Just the opposite. In fact, our Armenian church invites us to be a part of that mystery to understand mystery as something that is all around us. And truly, when we look at the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, when he explains the born again experience in John chapter three, he talks to us, he talks to Nicodemus. He says, the wind blows where it wills. You do not know where it comes from, nor where it goes, but you hear it, you feel it. And so it is with everything that is born of the spirit. That spiritual birth, that spiritual birth allows us to live in that mystery, to come to terms with the mystery all around us. In fact, if you look at nature itself, if you look at the world around you, there are so many opportunities for us to really be in tune with that mystery. For instance, a very simple thing like beehives. Can you imagine bees, thousands of them coming together and organizing their work in such a beautiful way that they make these honeycombs made out of these hexagons that the most brilliant of geometry teachers could never even explain how to construct one. And yet these bees, without the knowledge, without the understanding, come together and do this as part of instinct. Now we call it mystery. The way the planets line up, the way that the universe has its own rhythm and it has its own system beyond our understanding. These are things that we cannot understand. In fact, a very prolific writer named Alexander Solzhenitsyn, he was a writer who wrote against the Soviet Union, a brilliant man who won the Nobel Prize in Literature, wrote about a very small little duckling. And in so doing, he expresses what mystery is. He looks at this little duckling, just barely born and just ruffling its feathers. And then he says, all of the scientists, you bring together all of those people who know everything about those molecules and those cells. And yet all of those scientists could not in one little test tube create one simple little feather off of this little duckling. This is what we call mystery. Horut horin, anhas aneskisman. God is the mystery. God is at the center of it all. God is that horut. To understand the sacraments, how God interrelates with us, is to come to terms with that word horut. Mystery, a deep mystery. In fact, a scientist, a brilliant scientist by all accounts, last century was named as the man of the century, Albert Einstein, says it like this. 
He says the most beautiful thing that we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all art and science. He to whom is emotion is a stranger who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in awe is as good as dead. His eyes are closed. To know what is impenetrable to us really exists is at the center of true religiousness. The Armenian church has always been respectful of that mystery. To be in terms with mystery means we open up all of ourselves, our emotions, our mind, our body, our soul to the wonder that is God. You can find that. It's in what we call sacraments and it's in the Armenian church. Find out at a church near you. Did you like that show? If you did, there's more episodes waiting for you to watch. AC 101 is that series, and there's all kinds of videos at the Facebook page of the Western Diocese.